little bit. And I'm going to share a little bit strategy wise what that's going to look like for us. Strategy wise, just a little bit, just hear me. So I'm going to share some vision, some strategy with us. First and foremost, uh, I feel like if we're going to do anything that's centered on Jesus first, there has to be the spiritual revolution first. We can do all the natural stuff that we want to. We can start all the natural movements. We can, we can start ministries. We can do all this kind of stuff. But if we don't have a spiritual encounter with God, I mean, you've talked about this before. We don't have a spiritual encounter with God. We don't have a, 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 a revival scent, so to speak. I don't know, last year I felt, I spent a couple of my days where I would just be like, man, I need a, one of them good old three-day revivals. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all been those where just, you're just bawling and crying and can't walk and everybody running and shouting. And, I need one of them. I need one of them. But anyways, I was just, been praying and I was like, Lord, I want, we, we got to have that. We need a spiritual revolution, a spiritual encounter. And so God began to speak to me about this thing called abide. Somebody say abide. Abide. What is abide? Abide is going to be a prayer and worship night. And we're going to have them two times a quarter. We're going to host abide nights two times a quarter. Prayer and worship. The first one's going to be January the 29th. I had a graphic, but I didn't bring it. But that's what we're going to do. It's going to be the, fir the first one. It's going to be a dynamic night. We're going to have a full band up in the house. We're going to invite people from the community. It's going to be a night. We're going in. Somebody said we're going in. It's not going to be just, you know, I, I, we, I love we have structure, we got all these things that are going on, but I know what God's saying. So we're going to do a, a, a prayer and worship nights that will happen twice quarterly. It means next year we're going to do eight of these. I mean this year, eight of these. And I'm excited about that. So there's a spiritual connotation. We have to have a spiritual revolution. We've got to have revival and, and we're taking the hinges off of the room for this. I'm excited for what God's, what God's going to do. I'm excited for the first one. I'm, we'll be talking and sharing about that more this week. Next thing is this. We got, um, we, we named our outreach ministry Reach, <laughs> which is very, you know, creative. Um, but last year we did a few things, not a whole bunch of stuff. But there's been some stuff on my, on my heart for a while, and I've just been asking God, when, when is the time? And as, as I began praying about vision, God said, it's time to launch the reach stuff. It's time to, to for this year, for Prevail, to be outward focused. Amen? And so I'm excited because under reach ministry, we're going to be launching a few different things. First of all is this, uh, the Prevail Center. And this is, this is kind of really the idea of how this church started. Because what we wanted, what I wanted for us to do was plant Prevail centers in communities that were resource centers that also held where church services were held. This is our church planting model, right? So as we go out and plant other churches, these churches will not just be a church builder, it'll be a resource center where people can come and get practical community engagement and training. What does that mean? That means people can learn skill sets, they'll learn resume writing courses they'll have. For Velson is gonna offer all of that skill, you know, how to start a business, practical stuff. I, we're not going to come here and break open a bunch of scripture and, and go to know. It's going to be, here's how you get an LLC. We're going to sit down with you and walk you through how to get 
an EIN so you can start your own business. All these things. Here's how you, you learn about insurance. This is what you need for business insurance. This is how you cover yourself. All of these things are going to happen. So we're going to be launching the Prevail Center. And we got some stuff on the schedule that we're going to be talking about soon. But get ready for that. I'm excited because that's going to be hosted here. So this room going to be set up differently. But there will be resume writing. There will be classes. All kinds of stuff. <clears throat> we're going to be doing... And um, one of the most exciting things I'm gonna, uh, on the docket for this year is this, is this thing that I have titled the Hearts on Fire campaign. Somebody say Hearts on Fire. So this is what I'm asking for Prevail people. I'm asking our, my Prevail folks every week I'm asking you whether it's as a family or individual, to do one, once a week, one random act of kindness. Totaling 52 weeks of random acts of kindness. Now some of us, if you're like me, you're going to have to actually put it on your schedule as a reminder <laughs> so you remember to do it. So this is what I want us to do. I want us to do if it's an individual or if it's as a family, whatever it may be, one random act of kindness. And I want you to write down what you do. I want you to write down if there's any reaction that you, and this is, this is not because I'm trying to make some big thing out of it, but I want us at the end of the year, I want us to, to, to celebrate some things that God has done this year through us. Here's what I believe. I believe that he's called us to be the hands and feet of him. So I want us to actively engage in ministry in our community. What does that mean? That means, that it, I'm saying once a week. I'm not saying every day. I, don't, I ain't expecting you every day to wake up and go, you know, find 10 people to do random acts of kindness. Once a week, as a family or even as an individual, a random act of kindness. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to provide a way that you can share that with us so that we can keep it and, 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 and then we'll share. What we're going to do is we might get you to stand up and share if you feel like it. You don't have to. But just to share. And this week, you know, I was at the store and God asked me, I felt a God, the voice of God asking me to do this for this lady, and I did it. And the smile on her face, or the, she just began to cry, or we, you know, then I was able to share the gospel, or whatever it may be. I'm just, I'm excited, because I just know stories that are going to come out of this is going to be incredible. And I'm excited about that. So we got that. Then, under reach, here's another thing that we're launching this year. Community Collective. Somebody say Community Collective. It is our strategic community partnerships arm. And I'm excited about this. Something that we've been wanting to do for some time. And last year, again, it was kind of just a stable, stabling year. But this year, we're making connections with uh, partnerships in the community. Actually, community partners. So what's going to happen is every offering that comes in, Every offering, 10% of that will go directly into our REACH fund. And then we're going to be partnering with different communities and things of that, different organizations. And so I'm, I'm excited about that. And then finally, under REACH is uh, Hope Unhinged. Somebody say Hope Unhinged. This is our, we're going to start now, and we're going to create a fund for this on our online giving. And you can start giving to this now, or you will be able to today, but the Hope Unhinged is our Christmas fund. Now this year, I was excited for what God did. We were able to bless the family. It was incredible to see how God moved and how we were just, man, I wish y'all would have been able to be here to see, you know, to meet the parents when they came and picked up the stuff. The mom just wept. It was, it was an incredibly moving time. Uh, but I believe that this year, at the end of the year, 
God is asking us to, to, to go out to the deep end. And so I don't know what that looks like, but what I know is now I'm going to begin to pour offering. We're going to begin to give. You can do that anytime this year. I'm not saying you got to do it every week, but I want you to begin to, add, you know, just maybe look at your finances and say, you know what? In, in June, I'm going to give a big offering towards the Hope Unhinged thing. And we're going to keep talking about it. We're going to have a, a, a thing up so we, we can share. But this year, I want us to really be a, be a blessing to our community. Amen? Next thing it is, I'm almost done, I promise you. Next Gen Ministry. I've, we've been praying about this. This year, we are launching Prevail Youth. We are launching Prevail Youth. And I'm excited. Charles and Casey and some others have been, they're, they're going to work on Dream together. And that's going to be it. So, my fellas over here, y'all going to have, going to have, going to have something for you this year. It's going down. Get, get, get ready. And Prevail Kids as well. And I need you guys to be praying with me that God would send us a person who's passionate about uh, kids ministry. I really want this to jump off this year, so I'm excited about that. Uh, uh, we're not really a church if we die, if the church dies with me. Come on, somebody. I want this church to live beyond me. And it, I, we can look at today and go, oh, well, you know, how's that going to happen? God, that's how it's going to happen. Next thing is this, uh, Dream Team. Uh, we are, we have officially created a process that we'll be sharing with you guys next week of how you can sign up and you can become and, 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 and gain opportunities to serve. I know some of you have talked to me about wanting to do stuff in the church and, and stuff like that. And so that's, that, that next week we'll have information on how you can begin uh, part of the Prevail Dream Team. Next thing is this, together groups. Together groups. We are going to launch small groups this year. Uh, yeah, if y'all are like me, as I was writing all this, I was like, Lord, this seems like a whole lot for where we are. And God says, I'm always going to give you vision bigger than where you are. If, I, if, if you can do it, then it ain't me. I said, okay, thank you, Lord. So he's always stretching us. But this year we are we are getting the together groups going, and we're excited about that. Under that, it's going to be this thing called Uplift. It's going to be uh, um, a group in there where we can talk about, uh, share with one another if there are things going on, if we need help, if there's financial help and all this stuff. I believe that the church should come together and we should build each other up. So there's that. And then finally under that is Pioneer. Somebody say Pioneer. Now this is something dear, near and dear to me. It's my baby. It's my leadership development and training stuff. So if you are interested in that, and that's going to be open um, and it's going to be intense. And, I'm, and it's, it's on purpose. I'm excited about it. So I'll be sharing how you can sign up for that next week. You'll know about that. And then finally, Prevail Worship. Somebody say Prevail Worship. I am believing for God to send us a full band this year, one. Uh, two, I'm also um, excited because we're going to, this year we're going to work to write an original uh, single, at least one, and then we're going to work to write an original EP, and then if, if God is really pouring out the writing revelation, we're going to put out a full album. We have full gear. We have all the stuff that we need to record, full recording capability. And it really is just us taking a step of faith to do it. So there we have some original songs, but we believe God wants to put that out there soon. And then finally, 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 there's going to be a bookstore, book exchange, uh, merch store, all that kind of stuff. So we're launching all the Prevail merch. But... Outside of that, there's going to be a bookstore where we can do book exchange. It's not that you got to buy a book. If there's a book you want to read. I got a whole bunch of books. Ask my wife. And she's like, yeah, he does. So he don't read half of them. Well, you're talking about me, girl. But if you have some books that you want to read, we're going to, we're going to create a bookstore idea here. And then you can 
check it out and read it and bring it back. Don't bring it back, you know, borrow it for eight years and then be like, oh, shoot, that's the book I got for real. Um, so, anyways, that's a lot of things that's exciting and I'm excited for what God's going to do. And if you are here today, you are getting a t shirt. Boom. And so, I feel like I just said a lot of words.